Russia shoots down its own planes. The total losses have been calculated. Russian forces accidentally shot down their own Su-27 fighter jet over occupied Crimea due to heightened combat readiness. Ukraine's Navy spokesperson Dmitro Pletenchuk said last month, Russian occupation authorities in Sevastopol reported on March the 28th that a Russian warship crashed off the Crimean coast without naming the cause of the incident. The pilot ejected safely and was picked up by rescue services, according to the Russian installed head of Sevastopol, Mikhail Razvozaev. Several telegram channels claimed that the aircraft was downed by Russian air defenses after it took off from the Belbek airbase in Crimea. We can confirm that the aircraft belonged to Russia and that it was destroyed by their own forces, Pletenchuk said. Russian forces were on alert and in heightened combat readiness. Then the human factor came into play, the spokesperson said. Pletenchuk commented that somebody really wanted to get a medal for shooting down a plane and didn't bother to figure out whose aircraft it was. The spokesperson said, that the pilot survived, confirming the claims of Russian authorities. Russia's Air Force suffered particularly heavy losses in late February and March, losing more than a dozen warplanes including Su-34 fighter bombers, Su-35 fighter jets and a rare A-50 military spy plane. Since the beginning of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Russia has shot down at least 13 units of its own aircraft, writes the insider. Aircrafts of Russia hit by Russian military are as follows four Su-35 multi-role fighters, three Su-34 fighter bombers, two AWACS A-50U aircraft, multi-role fighter Su-27, Mi-8 landing transport helicopter, multi-purpose helicopter Mi-24. It is also indicated that another IL-22M-11 air command post was successfully landed after the defeat, but the aircraft now requires long-term repairs. China supplied Ukraine with tens of thousands of drones to strike Russia. Iran has sold Russia thousands of drones to bomb Ukrainian cities and another 6,000 drones are to be produced in the Alabuga Special Economic Zone under an Iranian license. Meanwhile, Ukraine buys drones in much larger quantities to shell the enemy's frontline positions from another partner of Russia, China. Ukraine has found ways to get tens of thousands of drones as well as to establish a flow of spare parts for them from China, reports the Wall Street Journal. Purchases of finished products, primarily from SZ DJI Technology, are carried out in stores and from suppliers. In addition, Chinese components are used in drones of their own production, which is growing rapidly. According to Georgi Chakaya, the defense advisor to the Ukrainian Ministry of Digital Transformation, over the past year and a half, the number of drone manufacturers in the country has grown from 7 to almost 300. Hundreds of thousands of simple, cheap devices that can carry explosives are produced in an artisanal and industrial way. Every month, the armed forces of Ukraine use about 10,000 drones on the battlefield. DJI told the Wall Street Journal that it tries to limit the use of its products for military purposes but cannot control their use after purchase. The US ban on the use of DJI drones from the military as well as Chinese components in the production of their own drones was one of the reasons why US-made drones are too expensive.
Although the U.S. tried to supply Ukraine, many American commercial drones cost tens of thousands of dollars more than Chinese models. In Ukraine, we would like to test and use more American drones, but we are still looking for more cost-effective solutions. Deputy Minister of Digital Transformation of Ukraine, Georgi Dubinsky, told. In addition, every drone software update requires Pentagon approval. However, the situation on the battlefield is changing so quickly that programmers and engineers have to constantly make adjustments to their models. What flies today can't fly tomorrow, Dubinsky says. We need to adapt quickly to emerging technologies. The innovation cycle in this war is very short.